Hi, Assalamualaikum everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about Radio Garden. How to utilize Radio Garden to help improve your listening skill. I hope this video is going to be very useful to all of you, especially teachers and language learners. Okay, I'm going to click. Okay, planting seeds. All right. Okay, the green dots are the radio channels that have registered with Radio Garden and just now I have locked on Radio Garden and I chose New York. So now we are in New York and I have selected Power Hits. So I'm going to play. Okay. Sound is very clear. Actually, you can just move the cursor and go anywhere. All right, now you just type any city that you want to go. Okay, here. And this Earl. Okay, let's say Washington. Okay, now we are in Washington. Okay, we can choose any radio channel. Washington. We can select popular in Washington DC. Let's choose this one. Support for WAMU comes from All right. Everbridge whose critical event management platform helps businesses and governments respond this is a radio to and channel. manage emergencies like COVID-19 naturally. All right, just now I showed all of you how to log on Radio Garden website using your laptop. Actually, you can also log on Radio Garden by using your mobile phone as well. All right, as an activity to help my students to improve their listening skill, I asked my students to listen to Radio Garden 30 minutes per session at least, at least three to four times. And when they listen to Radio Garden, I asked my students to select the radio channels in the countries of the native speakers of English only, because my objective is to make my students familiar with the accent used by the native speakers. For example, the British accent, the American accent, Australian and New Zealand accents as well. To make my students listen with a purpose, I asked my students to pay attention to the words, sentences, phrases used by the native speakers of English especially the DJs or the speakers in any radio channels they have selected. As my students are listening to the DJs or the speakers, they have to pay attention to the phrases, sentences used by the DJs. To make sure that my students are doing this tune in listening activity with a purpose, I ask them to jot down some notes as they are listening to the radio channel of their choice. They have to write down these notes, for example, the country of their choice, the city, the name of the radio channel, the words or phrases or sentences that they have managed to capture, and if they could manage to identify the differences in terms of pronunciations, they have to jot down their comments as well, and then Post their notes in the class WhatsApp. Radio Garden listening activity can be done with your students and it is very easy. You can ask them to do it from time to time so that they can familiar themselves with the accents used by the native speakers of English. 